Apple launches iOS 6.1.3 to the dread of jailbreak community. The HTC One gets even more delay confirmations, and Samsung seems ready for the Galaxy Note 3 design. I'm Jaime Rivera, on a hot day and dreading the fact that I don't really drink on Tuesdays. This is Pocket Now Daily. That's right, Apple has just launched iOS 6.1.3 to the world with the public idea of getting rid of the lock screen bypass that was detected on iOS 6. But the real reason is they figured out how to patch the jailbreak that was allowed by evasion. So our advice to you is do not upgrade to iOS 6.1.3 until evasion gets upgraded, hopefully. Now let's talk about the Galaxy Note 3. We heard rumors of a device with a 5.9 inch display and also a 6.3 inch display. If that's even crazily possible, but interesting news now have it that AT&T executives are already looking at dummy units for the design of the Galaxy Note 3, which actually is not good because there are still more than six months for the device to be launched, meaning that could this be that we're just gonna be getting an iteration of the Galaxy Note 2 to the Galaxy Note 3, pretty much like we got with the Galaxy S4. Stay tuned for the rumors. And speaking of Samsung, their VP for mobile has just confirmed that they are working on a smartwatch. Remember that Altius project that was recently rumored where they have a proprietary operating system named Altius with the idea of bringing them a smartwatch? Well, apparently this is true, but don't you think it would be even better for that thing to run Android? No rumors on dates, but stay tuned. And speaking of weird things, there's a new concept for a keyboard called Minuum to come to Android. The idea is that instead of having the whole keyboard block half the display, you would actually have it at the bottom of your display and you can actually move it around and it would actually just scatter all the keys around and it would still continue keeping the Curity layout, meaning it would still predict text just like pretty much any other Curity keyboard out there. Now, the project is still not even in beta, they're still trying to gain money, but obviously it begs to wonder if we really need a different type of keyboard. You never know. And finally, for the sad news of the day, the HTC One delays are pretty much more than confirmed. A company executive just told the Wall Street Journal that the company is not only having problems securing parts for the camera, but also even for the aluminum design of the chassis. And just think about this. Apparently, according to the executive, the fact that HTC hasn't really done well in the past quarters really has a lot to influence in their relationship with suppliers. So that leads me to the question of the day. Are you on your wish list waiting for the HTC One? Is that device that you want? Uh, obviously with these delays, has your mind changed at all? In my particular case, I'm having a hard time deciding between the Galaxy S4 and the HTC One, but leave us a comment down below. How many of you are waiting for this device? And yes, for an earlier scoop of everything that's happening in the smartphone and tablet world, make sure you follow us on pocketnow.com and subscribe to our YouTube channel as well. Please give this video a thumbs up if you like what you saw. I'm Jaime Rivera. Thanks for watching. See you tomorrow.